Hey there everybody, so Rogue Legend here, and I know this video is coming out quite a bit late. There's no one to blame for that, except for myself and maybe Call of Duty, but look, let's not point fingers here, okay? So we're going through all the colors because, well, we're in the deck building thing because we're not going for white, nor blue, nor black, nor red. We're going for green. Not colorless or dual either. Because there is a quest right now, there's two quests up right now, that say, attack with 30 creatures, which I have yet to do. Right, I was going to make a haystack for that. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, we have cast 20 green, black or green spells, and then we have cast 20 green or red spells. So I figured, let's just cut out the entire middleman and only cast green spells. And maybe we might get a couple wins. But I always do this on camera with you. I don't know where my phone is. That's actually a tragedy, because I won't know how long I've been recording for. Ah, the whistle man came and gave me my phone. Thank you, whistle man! I don't know how he keeps getting into this house. Okay, so... But yes. We are going for green, and we're going to see kind of what I can work with right now, because I kind of don't have amazing stuff. I have whatever I got, because I really wasn't focusing on green. And yes, I know, I see them too. It'd make a beautiful mono green mer deck. Ooh, wait a minute. Wait two minutes. Not exactly. We have quite. Ah, friggin' a burger. Don't read too much into what I just said. Uh, we had. There's an. Uh, that's an option. That's an actual option. But the question is, if we do it or not. Oh, self. I'm like, why is you in here? Uh, self. Oh, because it has the word elf in it. <laughs> okay, so I guess here goes an attempt at an elf deck. Uh. Uh. Um. No, no, I can't. I can't do it. I can't. I looked at it. I was building it, and I'm like, oh, well, maybe I can do. Nope. I, I just can't. Just not. Not. No. No tribal elves for me. Not yet. Not yet. We are gonna put in all the land of wars and all the. No, not you. All the druids. There we go. And now we go into the mono green stompy mindset. Uh. And then we go for everything. The Whisper Man is making noise in the background. I hope you didn't hear that. Curse you, Whisper Man! You and your whispers. Oh, we do have a single Gigantosaurus. Okay. Let's see. I need I need big I need big boys like him. Oh goodness. Um uh, you look like. Uh, is reach worth being five? Is that the qu that's the question on everyone's mind? Because in Mono Stomp, we don't really have any real way to make to reach the skies except for you know, plummet. Okay, we do have ways to reach the sky, but I don't want to use those ways. Uh, affectionate. I kind of want to put in two affectionate. Vivid revival up to three multicolored. Eh, that's useless right now. Um, rocks would be nice just for card draw, but I'm not sure if I want to value him over getting, like, a Vigilant Baloth, or... What are you guys do? Gain one life for each card in your grave... For each creature card in your graveyard. These guys might be kind of okay. <sighs> Bounty of Might. I could. I could. Ah, we'd have Carnage and Lonely. Um, some worms, three growths. The hatchery spider is one thousand percent worth putting in. Um, some vigor spore, the siege worm, thorn elemental, of course. Two verdant forces, just cause. You, you, you. 
feel like I should put in more... Okay. Um... I will put in the Bounty of Might. And then we'll biggity back out of these higher numbers and go for the lower. So let's grab a... Let's grab some Prey Upons. No, wait, not Prey Upon. If I have enough Rabbit Bites, I won't need Prey Upon. So I'll just... I'll stick one in. But I'm looking for Rabbit Bite. Ah, there it is. Okay. Eh. Um... I think I'll just put down a couple mana ramp cards and that'll be it. Oh wait, there was a creature I'm missing from this list. Never mind. Wait, no, yeah, I miss... Yeah, it's because of the restriction. Okay, what if I just put in the one? There it is. Um... Let's see, what else? Uh, I'll just put in the third copy just cause. Okay, now let's see what we can do to... Maybe yeah, I should put in the plummets. No, 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 I gotta, I gotta drop some cards down. Otherwise, I'm going to be mullying for days. I think that might have been my problem as well. Yeah, let's let's drop down some of the one costs. Some of the ones that we have. I, it'd be real easy to kick or grun. Mm. Yeah, I'm sorry, Giganto. You're, but if they don't have any real way to stop him is the thing. We'll, we'll keep those guys, but, like, I'm going to put in more mana ramp of sorts. There we go. Or we can just, like, mana. I'm, I'm certain I have those cards that are, like, it counts as, yeah, Gift of Paradise. Utopia's any color, so, mer. She might be a good one to just have the one copy of. Just cause, like, if I can put in a... If she goes down, like, turn two? No, turn... Yeah, turn two. And I just start throwing out more elves. She's an easy way to, to get some nice ramp. And she's not my only ramper, so I'll... I'll go down a prey upon... Well, both prey upons for her and a grow from the ashes. So we got a little bit more spread out. Um, not too many... Oof. Very, an, an extremely low amount of this thing. Well, this is our version of a Stompy deck, and I'm not looking to super take this into anything other than just doing quests, but you know how it is. Reset, and we're going to go for the prettiest one. I personally like the Dominaria Forest. And we're just going to... Just, just, just... There we go. All right, let's see how well my attempt at this works. Do we even cast enough cards? Because I am in a good mood. Uh, just before this, I actually did open up some card packs. And I have I got quite a few cards I'm very happy with. In real life, I'm trying my best to figure out what's a good type of is it deck for me. I might go, is it um, a, a form of like, is it burn maybe? Because I, even if I do want to go for the... Like, I do have some long con stuff, but... Ugh. See, this is what I was worried about. That's a little better. 
But do I take the risk is the question. Uh, there we go. I have to keep this now. Oh dear. And this is what I was worried about. Hello! <laughs> you might be in for an easy win. You are probably in for an easy win. Uh, at least I got the hello. At least I got the hello. Old Q. I may have to change things up a bit. I probably will have to change things up a bit. Oh dear. And there's the dimmer spy bug, of course. Hey, but look at that! I got another forest! All I need are fucking... Oopsie. Auto erasure. <laughs> He's like, what does he have in his hand? Is he gonna... Yeah. Yeah. Goodbye, impervious great worm. You will be missed. I'm gonna have to fix this up really quick. Oh, neat! A card I can use. There are cards in this deck I can use. And there's the sprite. Cool, I got a Carnage Tyrant. Oh, this is what I was afraid of. I that was being stupid. At least, I should have picked like 10 cards. Oh, goodness. It, it's, it's really just over. I'm just looking for what I want to play one card, okay? Just one. He took damage. I can be happy about that. You know, until the bad stuff happens. Uh, that was not good on my part. I'm gonna keep trying though. Oh, dope, I have an Elvis Rejuvenator now. Top five, land. And that's pretty much the turn. I get prodigious growth from this, the funny part next turn, until he actually just steals my creature from me. I'm waiting for it. Whispering Snitch. There it is. He- Oh, okay. That- You- You did not have to do that, my guy. I know you just did that because you were trying to flex. I played a card, though. That's all I wanted. And look. Look as our quests go up by one. Hooray! Actually, no. Just utter scrap. Utter scrap. Let's try this again. Let's do this the smart way. Yeah, that's right. I put two of each. What do you think about that? And drop that down to two. Okay, next up, we're looking for the Mina Ramp. Where are all four copies of you? Uh, her. I don't have a Song of Freilis, which makes me absolutely sad. Of course, the Prey Upons, and I think... Where's the battle one? Where's the battle one? I want to make my stuff fight other stuff. Prey Upon. There's two. Uh, let's go for some Titanics as well. Oh, I have four copies? Dope. To Blanche Woods, uh, I really don't have that many mana cards. I could use. Oh, if I only have one copy. Holy Christ! I really don't have. Uh, you put a land card from your hand onto the battlefield, but what good does that do me if I? Ugh. It, it's a way to get mana on the field, right? And, and it's a it's a one three, so another. Another candidate for things like Convoke. Okay, I got quite a few cards out now. I will just put in the Gift and the one Ash, because it could really help me out. And two Rejuvenators. And her again. Uh, maybe an Oaken Form or two? Yeah, two Oaken Forms. And then we're just going for ten big cards. And these are just creatures. So we're going to go with the three Feroxes, because they can actually just come out straight. Actually, no, no, that's in a, that's in a, sur 
like a surveilly type undergrowth. You come out because you help things get cheaper. Uh, territorial, yes. You're tempting. Yes, you. Uh, not not you, not you. You, you, you. Y two of you. Uh, one of you, and maybe one of you? Maybe? Yeah, because you have reach. You're a big boy with reach. Uh, you know what? We can forsake... the two scouts, and add in some more big creatures. Where's where's the biggest boy? The there we go. And because you have Convoke, I'm going to actually throw out one of those. Okay. There we go. Let's see... Yeah, that's a, that's a better spread there. Okay, take two. Take two, everyone. Forget the last one. What what, what match? What deck? Hi, everyone. It's Heroic Legend here, and I'm back in the arena. I'm playing for you guys. Blah, blah, blah. It's our intro stuff I did earlier. Mm. Alrighty, let's go. Koran Soul versus Heroic Legend. It'd be a legend if I ever... See, this is an... Oh, oh. Beautiful hand. I love it. I could get out a spider after uh, quite a bit of try. But the point is, I can keep my elf alive. That's what I'm happy about. Oh no, you go first! I will say hello. Please don't be red. It's green! Word green v green! Let's go! I got four mana, technically. I could actually grow from the ashes the next turn if I wanted. Urban Utopia, that's not okay. Question is, does he have a plan for it? I mean, it doesn't matter. I'm getting real close to being able to... Do I have enough? I have the five mana needed for Grow From The Ashes. Yeah, I can actually potentially get out my spider or my worm. Oh, you're at this type. Get that ramp. Make him sweat a bit. And in turn. I could actually play Siege Worm next turn or Hatchery Spider. I might play the Spider just because. He's a big boy. Blanchwood. So that only counts for one, but he wants to draw the card. I'm guessing he doesn't have any mana right now, and he's a, he might be a little scared. So he's going to hit me for three. I'm going to take three. My turn, I draw an Oaken form. That's definitely spider material right there. Yeah, I know I should have waited for some creatures, but... So he's going to need quite a bit to take down my spider. Again, because that's only one plane. This doesn't count as another forest. I think he's trying to figure out what's his best play here. Oh, okay. Well, I can still use him as a tap target, which I have to thank you for. That pays for it. That makes me pay for my creature easy. Uh, pass the turn. Yeah, you thought he was the only worry. Nope. Alright. He's not even trying. He has he has entirely decided this is not worth pursuing. Cause I know what I think he's gonna try. I think he's gonna try to to tend to grow for me. So, I'm gonna throw down the Oaken form. Let's see if he tries anything after that. 
Nothing. Okay. He might be waiting to banish my creature, which I fully welcome. Seal away, of course. I'm fine with that, though. Like, I will let you, I will happily let you take away my creatures until the time is right. Alright. That's the turn. He doesn't have any extra mana, though, which is his problem. And I think that's going to start burning him very soon. Here's a white mana. Path of Discovery! Now he's in trouble if he attacks. And I don't believe I because I don't want you drawing any more cards, my dude. Oh, cool! I can bring out a Vigor Worm now. He's a big boy. He's a really big boy, actually. I'm gonna make you stronger. Wait, that that gets vigilance. I'm an idiot. Ah, whatever. You're not getting out of here without taking one damage. I'm very sad. I actually got out the spider. And just so you guys know, I don't li technically I don't like spiders. Technically, um, I really it's just something about them. It's just not a favorite of mine. Okay, Druid of the Horns. So he's gonna explore. He got the Hero Mancer's Cage, which he cannot use right now. And I'm actually going to do this. Boop, boop. Have another one. And we're actually going to make you Vigilance. A, -ba -boom! a mighty six! Best of all, because they're both on the field, he's like, Oh no. My my Hero Master's Cage does nothing for me. I have to pick if I'm going to banish a creature or if I'm going to put down a creature. They also have an ETB effect. Oh no wait, it's the can't be blocked by more than one creature. Okay. Path of Discovery. Fine with that. An Oaken form, which he threw away. Interesting. He's probably waiting for me to attack. So you can, yep, activate another shield away. Which takes away one of my creatures. And then he's going to block and sacrifice his creature. Now he's going to Hero Mancer's Cage my other worm. Yep! Really, I'd get rid of the Druid and the Elf at some point, but... Elfish Rejuvenator, which helps with shuffling. And now, hit for two. Best part is, if he actually just keeps playing things to get rid of or stop my cards... I'm very easily gonna whittle him down slowly. There's another Druid of the Horns. So, creature he controls. Blanchwood. Okay, that's problem. Actually, that's not really that problematic. Um. Yeah. Oaken form. Actually, no, I'll see how greedy he is. Okay, so he, he 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 opted instead to take the damage. Then to sacrifice the creature. That, that's actually a good play on him. Uh, I need my hex proofer out in the field. I think I have enough. Okay, so he's gonna cage another one of my creatures. Probably yeah, my druid. So that's two cages and two seal away. He's gone, and he does have two mana left. <clears throat> the problem with mana ramp, ladies and gents. Am I really going to whittle him down to death with just elves? Okay, he got Shia out. She's going to explore. 
He drew the wrong card. But let's see if she he's gonna buff her. He's gonna bond my creature. Oh, GG. You should have held on to that one. <laughs> oh my god! I'm gonna either whittle you down to death, or I hope he has another. So, two Luminous Bonds, two Seals of Waste, two Hero Mancer's Cage. Just, you heard that gadoomph? That's how you use a Blanchwood armor. Another Druid of the Horns. I'm guessing he's using that for draw. He's trying to be... Oh no, he drew a Plains. He's, he's got another cage. Oh my god. I'm gonna laugh if I draw my prop my my next creature. If I draw a creature, just <sighs> he's still on the field. He could still be used to damage you. Go, my single elf. <laughs> Whittle him down until he's nothing left. There goes a plains. How much want better seal away? It's, a, it's another copy of Seal Away. No, I should have played the... Oh, if I lose because of that, that's a dummy move on me. Yep, there, he just drew his Luminous Bonds. That was a dumb move on my part. I did not realize he didn't have anything. Okay, pass the turn. Well, whatever he throws down, I can make it fight my bug. Urban Utopia. If I lose this because of this, I'm going to be so upset with myself. Oh my god, it's just taunting me now. And throw down a mana. I now have 10 mana. All I need is my Convoke creature. That my my... All I need is my big worm. I just need a big worm. I just need a big worm. I have I have cards in this deck that can I I can summon you no game. All we're doing is drawing. He's so he's actually I think really scared about what I have in my hand. He doesn't want to play anything. Oh cool! I'm wait I can't wait for him to be uh. Yeah, we'll we'll pay ten. Pass the turn. He needs to bring out a creature to defend himself. No, nope, there's another cage. If it was my hexproof creature, he would have quit. I guarantee you he would have quit. Oh, Lord, I just need to draw the one creature, man. I have another land war. Let's see, let's see him see, like, he's gonna do something to it. Okay. Another land. He's gonna get a 1-1 one, one elf warrior, though. Don't, tr guy, don't you do it. I guarantee you, you will not be a happy boy. He's looking, he's like, uh... Okay. Well... And in today's lesson, we learn why we don't do such things. Oh my goodness. Yeah, so, create your token. Oh, it discovers too. And it's a land. What a good discovery. And pass the turn. I wonder what he has in his hand that he can't, like, use. Throws down a mana. Is he. He is going to throw down a creature. 
Is he going to get what he needs with this exploration? Another mana! Now let's see if he's going to buff it. He's going to prodigious growth his boy. If he attacks me with this, he loses. Yeah, he he I, he lost this one now. Boop. And boop. I'm glad I held on to the Titanic Grove now. And GG. Oh, that was longer than I expected, but I'm pretty sure I got the 20 card play there. Let's check. And that took way longer than it should have. I'm so sorry for the long match. Yep, like I thought, 2020. Oh my god, Motorcycle Man. Oh, we completed all the quests. Correction. Wow. That, woof, woof. Anyway, I want to thank you all for watching. I do hope you enjoyed this episode. If you liked it, please leave a like on the video itself or subscribe to the channel for similar content. Of course, share this video with a friend or two. It really helps me out, especially dropping a comment, especially for the long match. I could have won it sooner, too, but I held on to that Titanic growth, and it finally turned, played out for me well. I love you, Titanic growth. You're, you, you, be, you changed my mind about cards like you, and I can't thank you enough for it. And once again, big thank you for watching. Until the next video, I just want to say, laters. Thank you.